Hey guys, Dexter here from uh, Dexter's Workshop. So uh, today I've experimented a little bit with uh, TPL 5110 IC, which basically it's a uh, low power management uh, integrated circuit. And I have to say that I'm very pleased with it. The, the guys that actually uh, designed that, well, I'll have to give them a beer. It's very efficient. The power consumption is only about 35 microamps, if I remember well. Uh, but you'll have to understand the way it works, because I, I heard a lot of bitching uh, on the internet uh, about this uh, IC, and the only reason that people were bitching was because they didn't read the actual data sheet. Uh, the, the whole shebang is quite simple. You have here, it's the IC. Let me see if I can focus. It's not a big deal, it's an IC. You have a resistor that will set the time from a couple of milliseconds to a couple of hours. The maximum achieved time, it's two hours. There is a drive signal that will drive a MOSFET I'm using a power MOSFET here just for the sake of it because uh, a project that I'm going to use it, it will require quite some amperage. That particular signal will drive a MOSFET. Okay, but the people out there, they don't understand how it works. Because this kind, kind of IC, it's kind of like a, an external watchdog. So, what are you going to... Uh, achieve using it is when your piece of software will run inside a loop you will have to take care of the fact that at the end of your payload code uh, the end of the code that will actually do something to make a transition from high to low and that will put the whole system at sleep. There are a lot of bitching about the fact that you will not get the amount of sleep uh, written on the DS. Yes, you will get the amount of sleep written on the DS. That's totally correct and the way it functions, it's correct. You'll have to pay attention because if you are going to uh, set your time via the resistor for let's say one minute and your particular piece of software it's running for 30 seconds the numbers are purely uh, for example then your sleep time will be not one minute but will be 30 seconds you will have to subtract the time that your prog your your firmware or your piece of uh, your line of, of code are running from the total uh, delay time. So if you have, let's say, two minutes of uh, the resistor is set for two minutes and your piece of program will run for one minute doing some things, collecting data, etc., etc., whatever, then your sleep time will be one minute. Remember that, <laughs> because it's very important. If the transition from low, uh, from uh, uh, low to high, is not received in the allotted time, the watchdog will reset whatever there is after it by sending a low pulse that will actually reset the microcontroller or whatever. Uh, piece of hardware we, you have after the um, uh, MOSFET or the, 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 power, uh, the power section. So if you'll not send a, a done signal, it's called in the DS, you will get a reset and the, prog the, the program will go all over again. So if by some reasons 
your piece of software will not come to the point where you are sending that particular signal to shut it down then it will run indefinitely which it's quite uh, okay and uh, quite correct according to the DS there is also another way you can use it you can use it via a push button and this particular system will be uh, waking up when you are going to push one button and then when the done signal is sent via your microcontroller the whole system is put at sleep of course following the same rules if you are setting your total time of one minute and your piece of software runs for 30 seconds you will get a 30 second sleep time now the nice feature you have here and the, the, the biggest advantage I'm going to use it with the maximum time just to be out of any woods because basically I would have to run a particular uh, task every six hours but I'm going to run it every two hours it's quite okay it's not a problem so as you can see at this particular moment my microcontroller with LEDs and power LEDs and everything is just blinking one LED it, it doesn't do anything else nothing it's just blinking one LED and there is no um, there is no uh, uh, stabilizer involved because uh, I'm feeding directly 5 volts so there is no stabilizers so at this particular point I'm having 17 milliamps between 16 and 17 milliamps but now I'm going to put my whole system to sleep there we go zero at this particular moment the whole system it's in a state of deep sleep without the use of internal clock or anything uh, internal for the microcontroller which is a very big advantage because you can actually put everything to sleep uh, every every system that you have to sleep after the particular MOSFET the particular power switching so it's like there is a little man there that will action a switch up and down every X minutes and will leave your program running for that particular allotted time I hope uh, this uh, small video will put some light as you can see there is up again and I'm going to put it to sleep there you go it's going to sleep zero uh, and I hope this particular uh, video will put some lights uh, in those um, I don't know uh, those comments and uh, those problems the guy had along the way because it's it's very simple just read the data sheet you'll have everything there uh, and it's quite obvious that um, this particular um, IC it's uh, it's working more ever as a watchdog which uh, it's the case because it's advertised as being a watchdog not particular uh, not particular uh, uh, let's say a timer that uh, you put it to sleep and runs for uh, uh, x uh, minutes and then put it to sleep again uh, and so on and so on so yeah it works like it should thank you guys thank you for watching this is Dexter from Dexter's workshop bye bye